All right, so this has had plenty of time to dry. Um, I've had it sitting off to the side while I started on other projects while I was waiting for it to cement to fully cure. Um, it's got some cracks that I was expecting because this is just Portland cement. It's not reinforced with any fibers in any way. Um, and putting this large of a piece in here, I was expecting these corners to crack, and uh, they did. Uh, I'm not worried about that uh, because once I seal it in epoxy, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, and also the cracks uh, can sometimes give me uh, the desired effect of it looking old and used. Um, so what I'm going to start with is I'm going to take a dental uh, type scraping tool and I'm going to go around these edges here. I'm going to go around the inside here. I've already done it a little bit just to save some time. But I'm going to go around there until I sufficiently feel like uh, that I've worked it enough that some of this has come loose. Uh, I'm hoping to remove this. Uh, best case scenario, I remove this and everything stays intact. It's all adhered to the uh, canvas and uh, we go from there. Um, after that, uh, I'm thinking, you know, if this comes out, this may come with it, which if it comes out in one piece uh, or even two big pieces, I can still uh, fix that and get it sealed back or uh, adhered back to the canvas and go from there. Uh, and then, of course, worst case scenario is just a disastrous where everything breaks apart and it's just uh, uh, not worth it to carry on with it. And this just becomes a learning experience. But uh, all right, let me get the uh, dental tool and we'll go from there. I've been doing some more studying on this uh, handbag. And uh, he's actually going to end up changing some of the concept on the piece just because there are um, many ideas as to what it represents. Uh, if you listen to, uh, you know, some people think that it's uh, the handbag of the gods and that it's uh, symbolic of the gods handing over, you know, the information of civilization or some kind of divine knowledge or some kind of uh, just knowledge in general to uh, humans. Uh, some believe that it is just a uh, unit of measure, like uh, you'll see in some of these old uh, carvings. They'll depict uh, someone holding a ruler or a piece of rope, and uh, it lets you know that that person was probably a builder or an engineer, an architect, and back then they used uh, a stick with marks on it like we do. Uh, you know, they had their versions of rulers. They would use a, a length of rope. And so those symbols uh, resembled a unit of measure being length. Um, the concept is that this might have been a symbol of like four, maybe five or ten pounds or something. So therefore it was, uh, uh, in, in carvings, it was being depicted as a unit of weight. Um, and that very well could be the case. Uh, however, the, the handbag is seen all the way from uh, Gobekli Tepe to ancient Samaria to um, some Aztec, I think it's Aztec uh, or Inca ruins in uh, South America. So if that is the case and it denote, uh, denoted a, a unit of weight, then there's still the question of um, it being a, a cross-cultural global um, symbol, and so therefore that would mean that, you know, possibility of, of people traveling and trading further than we, we thought that they had. Um, and then, of course, you have people that just think that it's all coincidence and it's just a, a, a decorative, you know, handbag. Uh, but that being said, and with all the stuff that we've got going on currently and, uh, um, and uh, the stuff that's been going on with uh, uh, water being labeled a commodity now and, and the fact that people are going to start, uh, you know, uh, dealing with water futures and stuff like that. Um, you know, this piece might take a, a, a definitely take a different turn uh, as far as the meaning and what I might put in the actual handbag. Um, it's, uh, it's interesting because I had kind of a concept uh, going into it, and then now after doing a little bit more research, uh, the plans fully changed. Um, I mean, it'll still be uh, similar in nature. You know, the concept that you know that we've probably 
um, th the, there might have been a trade off for the type of knowledge we gained uh, as far as, you know, either how we treat each other or um, how we've treated the planet, you know, that kind of thing. So it's still going to definitely have uh, be a symbolic in nature type piece, but we we'll just have to see uh, what that symbolism is going to be. And that's if I can get it out of here in uh, one piece, or at least multiple workable pieces. And I feel like with uh, the fact that now you're going to start hearing about water futures and uh, people uh, trading on that base as a commodity and stuff. It's going to be interesting because I, I, I feel like uh, sometimes I feel like we're in that part of uh, one of those movies that's you know apocalyptic in nature, whether it be you know zombie apocalypse or whether it's some kind of virus or something. But this feels like that moment where people are traveling. Stuff hasn't gotten bad yet, but there's the radio or the TV in the background that's telling something that's a uh, you know an important message everybody should be paying attention to, but it's just kind of in the background. I feel like that's kind of how this whole thing with the, the water futures is, and people should really be questioning what that means and what that you know where we're headed with that because uh, you know the, you know, the next step will be uh, whether or not they start uh, wanting to you know, and then it has happened in some places where they start charging you. Uh, for uh, the rainwater coming off of your roof or not letting you collect it. Uh, I know there was one country, and I'm not sure if there's any states here doing it, but uh, people were getting in trouble for having those uh, rainwater barrels on their gutters to use for gardening. And uh, so it's, uh, it's going to be really interesting. I'm going to have to start paying attention to some of that. And we're going to have to start making sure that we get, uh, that we know that our politicians uh, are properly knowledgeable on the topic and at the same time not uh, somehow getting lobbying money from some company that's uh, heavily involved with wanting to make a profit off of giving everybody water. So uh, it'll be... Interesting to see how that goes, and, and like I said, it, it, it hit the news and it just kind of faded into the background. It didn't, it didn't come out uh, hardly anywhere. At least I didn't hear much about it. And if they did cover it, they definitely didn't cover it in a way that informed anybody of what they should really be concerned about with that. Oh, it's loose. Centerpiece is stuck with it, so we'll have to see about reattaching that. Welcome to the director's cut. Uh, I forgot about removing these side walls. Uh, so uh, let's get these side pieces off and make sure everything comes out uh, in one piece. Um, I was excited about this coming out uh, nice and clean and almost forgot about it. So let's get these off and then you'll see it cut back to where I you know, wrap it up and say have a good night and all that.
It's always a little bit scary when it goes like that. gentle with it right now but there we go everything's looking good all right and there was much rejoicing all right I'm gonna set this up on this side Next step, like I said, will be getting this covered in some clear coat, and uh, we'll see how that looks. Sometimes the patterns it comes up with look really nice, but uh, if not, then we'll go into seeing what other type of look we want to have and decide where, how we want to paint it, how we want to treat it. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you much. Hey everybody, thanks for checking out my videos, and uh, despite having the looks and charm of Ryan Reynolds, I still need your help. If you could hit the like and subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. You can also find my work on Etsy, uh, just look up the Ox Gallery, uh, link will be right here, and actually it won't be because I haven't figured all that out yet, but in the future I'll figure all that out and get like a link here, but you can go to Etsy and look up the Ox Gallery. And uh, eventually I'll have it all figured out. But the subscribe button should be right here. And hopefully it's not right on the face, which it probably is. But please subscribe, please like, and uh, please be patient. And I'll have better videos coming soon uh, as I figure all this out. Thank you much.